You have selected shuffle. Hey guys, this is George from the Shuffle Pod. I've just taken a moment uh, to just kind of do a little side episode here. Um, some stuff happened last weekend. We weren't able to uh, record like a, an entire podcast and stuff. Uh, but what I want to do is kind of just touch on some of the things that uh, that I'm happy about um, from when we did uh, started the Shuffle Pod and stuff. And I'll give you a little brief history. Um, DJ and Woody, uh, they had this idea to start this podcast and they asked me if I wanted to be part of it. A lot of it is just stuff that we would talk about, you know, when we were drinking beers and just having a good time and whatnot. And uh we thought, yeah, what the hell, you know, maybe uh maybe we'll be able to get some interesting stuff, you know, uh taken care of and talking about and and whatnot. And uh yeah, maybe some people uh will like it. And as time you know, it's a little over a year as time's going on, um We've really, really enjoyed listening uh, to the shows back and stuff and laughing and having a good time. But the uh, audience interaction and stuff um, through emails and on social media and whatnot has always been really, really cool. Um, Some of the cool things that I really like is how we're not really um, completely afraid to tackle uh, some of those topics um, that, you know... Like, for instance, when we did an episode on, on hate groups. Uh, it was at a, a pretty bad time um, in, uh, you know, American history. It was, you know, when uh, those, the Nazis decided uh, to start, you know, just protesting down south and, and stuff. And a lot of people got, you know, shot and there was a lot of people hurt and whatnot. And we thought, hey, we have a platform, might as well go ahead and, and just talk about it. It was a difficult episode for us to do uh, in reference to we're always trying to joke and have a good time and and stuff. And to actually sit down and, and be serious uh, with, cert, with a certain topic was kind of tough. Um, we've often, you know, tried to shy away from doing not controversial topics as far as like... Uh, you know, aliens and stuff like that and, you know, government conspiracies and all that stuff. But just with tackling such an emotional topic like that, it was pretty difficult. But, you know, um, the whole, uh, the whole podcast, you know, phenomenon that's been going around, uh, for a number of years right now, you know, with, you know, our our influences of, you know, with, uh, you know, stuff you should know and, uh, the Joe Rogan podcast, uh, you know, there's, you know, the pod, uh, the last podcast on the left and, and uh, um, you know, just tons of these podcasts that we all enjoy and, and uh, listen to on a daily basis uh, kind of inspired us to do this. And, you know, I wanted to take a little bit of time to thank you guys for taking the time out of your guys' busy days to listen to us. And, uh, you know, it really, really means a lot. So I kind of wanted to talk about some of uh, my personal favorite episodes. Uh, we did, we did one on the OJ trial and that title, it was, uh, back on July 30th. Uh, we did this and it, it, we talked about DJ had this, what I thought at first was a absolutely crazy ass idea. Um, that, uh, it was actually OJ's son, Jason, uh, that committed the murder. And that um, kind of balled into a nice big topic uh, discussion in reference to, my God, maybe he did because, you know, DJ has some compelling, you know, arguments and stuff, which actually I'm really happy to say um, that Conspiring to Argue, which is one of our absolute favorite podcasts, did a episode on the O.J. Simpson trial, and they, I think it was a two or three part that they did, and they brought up, uh, you know, they kind of brought up the show a little bit and said it, but they they expanded on a lot more of it, um, and it was just a, a phenomenal series that they did on it. So uh, that's cool because, 
you know, with doing this a, a year into it, um, we've started working with, you know, other podcasts here and there, uh, just talking on social media, helping promote each other and whatnot. But these guys, uh, for Conspiring to Argue, um, did a really, really, they do us a solid all the time by promoting us and, and whatnot. And we try to reciprocate that as well. Um, so if you guys get a chance to listen to them, uh, listen to their podcast on the OJ trial and many, many more, they're really, really, really good. Um, but on our, uh, thing of the OJ trial, um, DJ brought up a lot of really good points, um, that, uh, were kind of compelling, um, into, you know, did OJ actually take part in it? Um, did he help cover the murder up or take the, the blame for his son and stuff? And we kind of argued back and forth that I discussed uh, that we didn't know if O.J. would actually do that. But nobody's heard from really Jason Simpson anymore uh, since that uh, time. He's kind of gone underground and whatnot. Um, but that, to me, is one of my absolute favorite podcasts that we've done. Um, some of the other ones, I'm just going through my lists, is the El Chupacabra episode. Uh, we liked it so much that when we had an off week, uh, we re-aired it. Um, we actually aired that on uh, June 25th was the actual re-air of, of that episode. And in that episode, we talked about um, chupacabras. And Woody had this, this awesome uh, point about um, that it was exactly described by this lady that was saying that chupacabras uh, were on her land and whatnot, uh, she described it, I mean, exact as uh, species. I believe it was species, the movie. Um, so the drawing that she gave was basically the cover of that DVD. But in that episode, we really um, kind of, that was when we first recorded it, we kind of, that was our coming out party almost um, to where we looked at each other after the episode and we're like, man, that was really cool. That was a lot of fun. Um, and we really think we had something at that point in time. You know, we uh, we talked about the Chupacabra, and that, of course, spurned into, like, all kinds of crazy talk and, and whatnot into that. Um, and it was it was really cool uh, to do that. Um, and I, I think I'm trying to find here, when we did the actual Chupacabra first one, and that was... Um, it was back in the first year of the first couple months of our uh, of our um, podcast. So I'm um, kind of just doing this on a whim here um, just to, uh, you know, get ourselves in, you know, to uh, an episode here. But uh, we did the Chupacabra back on September 10th, 2016, which happens to be my wife's birthday when we released that. So it was like a birthday present for her. Not really. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, we actually got our first super fan, um, and our first Patreon, uh, that was, uh, Jeff Street. And he, uh, of course is the guy that designed our logo and he's been with us literally from the beginning and he's totally awesome. So yeah, that, uh, the whole Chupacabra thing was, was great. Um, then we went into, uh, talked about alien bases uh on the moon and all this stuff in this uh September 16th the space the final frontier episode um and uh DJ in this one actually described I don't know how in the hell we got on the topic of the Blair Witch project but he was talking about how he was scared shitless of the Blair Witch project as a teenager uh was afraid to actually walk into his house from his friend's car and just basically that that movie terrified him. So in that one, we realized that uh, DJ was a big old sissy when it comes to uh, movies and, and uh, fears and stuff. But yeah, the Blair Witch Project really, really uh, scared the crap out of him. Um, then, uh, you know, if you go to like late September, we did, a, um, we did an episode on sea monsters which was, it was an okay episode. It wasn't our uh, absolute favorite, but we talked about um, my 40th birthday party uh, during that episode. And during that episode, um, to 
look at and go, yeah, I'm 40 years old now. Uh, now I'm 41, but, uh, that was a, uh, that was like staring morality, uh, in the eyes because man, it was, it was kind of difficult to turn 40. I didn't really think I would have a problem with it as much as, um, as say like when I turned 30, I was okay with that. 40 was always the big number. Um, but now at 41 years old, 40 doesn't seem that bad. So, but you definitely, uh, test your morality and stuff by, you can't do the things that you, uh, once were able to do is, uh, pretty much as, you know, drinking and partying out with your friends and stuff. Now I got to take naps if I know I'm going to be going out and stuff, which, uh, is crazy. Um, we actually, uh, once September ended, we rolled into October and we kind of hit our, our stride with a couple really good episodes. I thought we talked about time travel. Um, we did a episode on sleep paralysis. Uh, the sleep paralysis episode was honestly, it was one of the more terrifying things that's ever happened to me with the sleep paralysis. And we talked about it and DJ has it. And, uh, so yeah, it, that to me is, kind of terrifying when it comes to uh things that happen to people uh you know we talked about the theories of um back in the old times uh people thought it was demons and whatnot uh that were you know um trying to suck the soul out of of people and stuff and i can honestly see why uh people say that um just happened to my daughter not too long ago um she said she woke up uh, what she thought she was awake, but she couldn't move. And she thought she saw like this dark shadowy figure standing by her bed. And she heard this like loud buzzing in, in her ears and stuff. Um, and that really scared the crap out of her. And she said, you know, we got to talking about that. And she was asking me about, uh, if I ever had that. And, uh, you know, I told her a couple times and I told her, yeah, we did a podcast on it, you know? And she, of course she wanted to listen, but we swear way too much. Uh, so I can't let her listen to those, but, uh, we actually, that's when, um, I started letting her listen to like lore and, and, uh, Aaron Mankey's podcast, uh, which if you guys get a chance, watch, um, if you guys are fans of lore, obviously you probably know this, but watches, uh, um, series on, uh, on Amazon prime video, really good. So anyways, um, but yeah, that, uh, got my daughter into, uh, podcasts, um, was, you know, Lauren and, and, uh, we listened to Sawbones together and whatnot, but it's cool because for me, podcasts are not really going anywhere, uh, for a while, because if, kids like my daughter's age, you know, junior high and stuff, if they start listening to these podcasts and stuff, that's a whole nother generation that's actually going to hopefully carry on the podcast torch and stuff. Um, a thing I find pretty awesome about having a podcast is week in and week out, we get to have a voice and, and hopefully entertain some people every once in a while and just basically have a good time with it and stuff. Um, you know, we were afraid that we would start running out of ideas. Uh, so DJ Woody and I, uh, met at a bar, got some chicken wings and sat down and we, I think we have a list of about 60 or so podcast ideas that we have and for the upcoming year and stuff. Uh, some things that we want to do for sure is, and I'm kind of jumping around a little bit cause I'm kind of doing this on a whim, uh, just to give you guys some content, uh, for this week. But, uh, yeah, um, we have some ideas that we're going to actually hopefully sit down, uh, do some good research, uh, on some really good, compelling topics. And, uh, you know, I mean, hopefully bring you guys some more, uh, like not just so much fun topics all the time and us joking, but some like really good research, uh, you know, um, conversation starting topics, hopefully. Uh, we're really excited about that. Like, I know that I've got, uh, I like serial killers and I love true crime podcasts and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to do a couple, you know, ideas on a couple serial killers and stuff. So if you guys like serial killer, uh, topic stuff, give me some ideas. We're always thirsty for those ideas. Um, I know 
DJ is going to uh, do one on meteors and some kind of harvesting minerals from meteors and stuff. Um, and Woody's got a really good idea of some kind of thing on land. I don't know what it's called. Um, I should have wrote it down, but uh, obviously prepping for something's not my uh, not my strong suit, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we we're basically going to hit um, some other really good ideas. Uh, that we think, and and hopefully get some more interaction through you guys, um, do some fan-inspired topics and stuff, and we're really, really, really hungry to get you guys to um, share your voices with us, to let us know. Um, we are actually looking at doing a co-episode with uh, Conspiring to Argue, which is going to be hopefully really cool, because those guys are awesome, and... Uh, I think we're going to, that's going to be a really kick-ass show. That's going to be a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, just a couple little things. And I'll get back to some of the uh, some of the content and stuff we're going to be doing. I'm going to jump right into um, probably my all-time favorite episode. And it was the story, the backstory on this episode was uh, we had an idea of an episode to do. And it kind of, we weren't feeling it. So we started over and I said, why don't we do a zombie apocalypse episode? And they were, and we took the, um, we took the, the way of doing it as if a zombie apocalypse hit right now, just with what you have in your house, how long could you survive and all this stuff? And to me, that was the coolest episode because, um, we were able to each, all three of us give each other different scenarios and different versions of how we would try to survive. And and that's the big joke with uh, DJ with the box cutter, uh, you know, uh, because he mentioned during, you know, the survival part of it that he would actually, uh, he'd have a box cutter and, you know, take stuff for his own. And we made the joke about he would, you know, hunt old people and stuff. Um, and then, you know, obviously Woody's trucker stuff entered into the equation and whatnot. But it was cool to actually have um, a discussion on a topic that we really didn't prep anything for. So it was kind of just off the top of our head. It was with uh, in our stuff. And it was it was cool. Um, you know, I took the approach of, you know, uh, food. How much food did I have in my house and stuff? And I can honestly tell you, I believe that I actually started to... Um, I actually started to prep a little bit more after that episode. I noticed that I buy extra rice and, and, you know, some extra canned foods and stuff. And, um, you know, I've been working with my shotguns and stuff like that, uh, to prep and if I buy an ammo. So, I mean, I'm not like some crazy dude right now, but, uh, I feel that I kind of needed, um, I needed to do a little bit, uh, more to, uh, actually, you know, prep, not so much for a zombie apocalypse, but like, you know, like a catastrophic event and stuff. So that was pretty cool to do that episode. Um, Shortly after that, we did our first live show back on December 18th, 2016. uh, We did a live show from my basement um, and we had a really, really good time with that. We actually did a uh, Periscope stream on it and a Facebook live. We were on it and it was so much fun. Um, we were able to actually, uh, have people interact with the show and that was a lot of fun. And that actually got us to, um, that actually got us to really get back into possibly doing some new, you know, some, uh, um, some live shows and stuff. So that was really, really cool, uh, to do that. Um, speaking of live shows, we actually did another live show, uh, and we did it on April 28th. We broadcasted this one, April 28th, 2017. And we did a, uh, for those who have been following the podcast from the very beginning, we did a uh, weight loss uh, contest, which all three of us were the three most uninspiring weight loss contestants ever. Um, I think I think I won um, at like seven pounds and I had been drinking beer and eating pizza all day, uh, that day. So, um, yeah, we weren't the, uh, we weren't like, uh, the biggest loser, uh, you know, as far as, 
you know, inspirations and whatnot, because we were way, way far from it. Um, we went ahead and did that and we did a trivia and we had, uh, we had this, uh, guy in a gimp mask, uh, went ahead and actually would, uh, if we got the answers wrong, he would hit us with pliers, like pinch our arms with pliers and stuff. And it was a whole trivia thing. And DJ made these, uh, swatters. So, you know, like fly swatters that we could, um, answer that's because we were like if we're doing a live show how in god's name we don't have buzzers or anything so we made these cool um swatters which are actually still hanging in my studio um one is a, a lizard person uh which was woody's because we're not convinced that woody's not a lizard person uh one was uh mr black business cat his face um that was dj's because he's got the uh he's got this cat that's pretty much if cats could take over the world it would be the one and I had a bear uh, because I would often tell us, you know, joke about bears, um, either me fighting them or them taking advantage of me, um, you know, uh, in a loving way uh, that uh, because I'm a hairy little Greek guy. And uh, so they would, you know, look at me like I was a uh, um, like a fat little cub. So, yeah, we so we did that uh, live show um, and. DJ actually won the live trivia, I think, by like one question. Woody talked all kinds of shit um, leading up to the show and lost, uh, came in third out of three. And uh, but that was so much fun because uh, I think I, that was the first time I played guitar live on the show. Uh, and, you know, we broadcasted it um, not on Periscope this time, but we did it on Facebook Live, which was really cool. Um, and that had a lot of, a lot of views, um, a lot of audience interaction and stuff with us, which was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, our second live show, which we are, um, preparing to do another live show soon, uh, during the holiday season. Um, and, uh, we may actually do, I think the live show is going to be with conspiring to argue. And, uh, I don't know what topic we're going to do yet, but, uh, it's, it's going to be a good, good, good time. Um, but yeah, then, uh, following that one back on May 6, 2017, we did idioms and armpit, armpit bruises. Cause we were talking about the bruising that, uh, we had from the gimp that would, uh, it ran the show and, and basically attacked us with the pliers. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I, he, I don't, I don't remember a ton from that show, but that was the big thing. But, uh, then we kind of went into, um, we did uh, fidget spinners in my in George's machete episode, and that was uh, back in May 28th when I had a life changing event. I bought a uh, a machete from Harbor Freight. For those of you guys that don't know what Harbor Freight is, it's like the coolest store in the world. Um, they sell uh, inexpensive tools and stuff, but they've got survival knives and they got machetes and all this stuff. But you could buy a machete um, for like five bucks and. Uh, you know, we're big fans of machetes on this show. And uh, I got a machete. It stays underneath my bed. Um, it may break the first time if I ever have to use it on anybody. But it seems like it could be a pretty good time. Uh, and supposedly you're supposed to hack away at a garden, you know, with with it and stuff. I, I think uh, we all know you got a machete. You're going to use it for home defense. Why, you know, why not? Typical Greek, I'm going to bring a knife to a gunfight, you know, type thing. So, but yeah, we had that and, uh, you know, we, uh, basically that's, I think I pulled the, uh, I think we pulled the, um, the machete out on, on the, on the show and the guys had a good laugh about it and whatnot. But I also tell a story about that, um, about, I believe that was the, I was driving to work and I saw two ducks having sex on the side of the road. Um, realized at uh, 40 years old, I still wasn't very mature because I actually stopped the car and, you know, laughed at them. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of a, a train wreck of a show, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, we did, uh, we talked about a bunch of stuff we've covered another OJ's trial, uh, thing, uh, because he's getting out of prison and all that good stuff. So we try to stay somewhat current on some of the things that we do. Um, and I think in the future, we're going to be a little more uh, 
current based as far as ideas and stuff. Um, we don't want to be a depressing show uh, with, um, you know, with our topics and stuff. So we, there are things that we shy away from, uh, and, but, you know, because we want to be entertaining for you guys and, and give you guys something to pass your time and whatnot. Uh, some of the big things, big changes uh, we've discussed uh, in the show is obviously, like like I uh, talked about earlier, we're looking at doing some um, some topic based shows that are nice and researched, um, and uh, you know we'll be able to to hopefully you know teach you guys a little something on on this topic and and stuff. Um, I want to do a lot more with social media. Um, so if you guys have any, um, any ideas of what you guys would like to see with social media and whatnot, hit us up, let us know. Um, you can hit us up on Twitter, uh, at the shuffle pod. And then obviously on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash the shuffle pod. Um, you can hit us up on our email shuffle pod show at gmail.com. And, uh, just let us know. I mean, you know, I'm always trying to troll around. Uh, Twitter and you know talk to people and stuff and whenever people hit us up on our Facebook page um, we always like to do that uh, to talk to the people uh, that that interact with the show and stuff but hit us up on email um, you know because it's nice when we get an email to read it because we're like hey man you know people are listening to the show and they're interacting with us and that's really cool um, I want to do a lot more video content and stuff um, I made a purchase recently of a uh, of a new camera um, I ended up picking up this Zoom uh, Q2N. It's a video camera with uh, stereo mics on it. Um, so we're going to start doing a lot of uh, video content and whatnot in between episodes. Um, there's been talk of a like a recap episode type thing. I don't know if it's just going to be me sitting down here talking for 10 minutes about you know the previous week's show and whatnot. If you know when we start getting a little more audience interaction, um, obviously Patreon. Uh, we're trying to uh, think of some ideas uh, to make Patreon a little more special for the people that uh, that help us out. And so, I, you know, if you guys have any Patreon ideas that maybe you would want to see, I don't know if uh, like exclusive video podcasts or whatnot or, you know, just something like that. Um, but, yeah, I, I really think uh, video content on YouTube and Facebook Live and whatnot is really going to help us. Um, I've made a... Uh, concerted effort to uh, do, start back with the video uh, um, pre-episodes to basically advertise, um, you know, what we're doing for this upcoming week or what show's coming out and whatnot. So yeah, we would like to hear you guys' feedback. I'm really excited to announce that I was, um, I was uh, privileged enough to uh, be a guest host on a, on a podcast called uh, this show fucking sucks. Uh, we talk about, uh, I'm sorry, this song fucking sucks. And we talked about a Jacob Satorius song, um, called hit me back, uh, which is, it's pretty, pretty bad song and it kind of does suck. And we had a really good time, um, with that episode. And it was really nice to actually sit back and, uh, do an episode with, a, another, you know, person that, just has kind of a different uh, approach to to their podcast, and that podcast is that episode is going to air November seventh. So you guys uh, have time to catch up on some of his shows, listen to the show that I'm going to be on uh, on November seventh, um, and we do talk about that Jacob Satorius song. If you guys haven't heard it, I'm sure that uh, that Jeff will put up. Uh, um, the video for it so you guys can enjoy it it's also found on facebook or on youtube and stuff so yeah it, it's pretty cool he's going to start promoting that episode and i just wanted i told him that i would do something here real quick uh to promote to promote it on our end um so yeah make sure you guys tune in to his podcast this song fucking sucks on uh november 7th and give it a listen let let us know uh let him know that hey that was cool you gotta have george on more often because I had a really good time. Um, DJ and I uh, started another band called Dick Bullets. Uh, DJ, I did not know he's a budding harp player, so he's been doing that, uh, goofing around and and uh, 
I think Woody's starting to take it a little better. Uh, and Woody may, I don't know, maybe take some bass lessons or play like some rhythm guitar. Uh, you know, so yeah, we just do that goofing around. But actually, um, I we might actually go ahead and uh, record a little bit of stuff. Uh, if we do, obviously, we'll get that out to you guys. Um, I am going to be recording an EP. Um, I've been uh, rehearsing with my buddy Jason. Him and I have been talking about getting in and recording an EP. Um, he's a very, very talented guitarist. Uh, him and I have uh, been jamming for quite a while, so we're going to actually get that off the ground. Um, and uh, I'll make sure that you guys get uh, a chance to get your hands on that music too. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, but yeah, I just basically want to do a quick episode, just a, a thanks to all you guys for everything that you guys do for us. And, uh, hopefully, um, in the next year, this show will get even better and better and we get more people listening and we can quit our jobs and just podcast for a living. Um, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, but, uh, no, I'm just, I, I think this podcast has been fun. I want to thank DJ and Woody um, for allowing me to be on the show. And it's just so much fun to do this week in and week out. Um, and we always, like we say, take a shallow dive into deep topics. Hopefully we take a little bit of a deeper dive into some of these topics. And uh, yeah, but definitely. So give me, uh, give us some show ideas that you guys might have. Uh, give us some uh, feedback on maybe uh, what you would like to hear. Uh, and uh, as far as the video content goes, um, what platforms you guys prefer that stuff on. Uh, so yeah, hit us up on our Facebook page and let us know. Uh, we are always trying to take care of our Patreons as far as sending them stuff. So uh, hit our website. You can check that out. Um, and I'm trying to talk the guys into possibly doing machete giveaways. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. So, But until next week, you guys have a great one. We'll be on a regular schedule. Um, uh, you know, at, when you guys hear this, it'll be the next week. We'll have another show out, and we'll be on the schedule and stuff. But I didn't want to not release something uh, this week, so I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, 30 minutes of rambling. Um, and I know that this isn't the absolute greatest uh, episode ever, but I wanted to give you guys something. Uh, thanks again for all you guys' support. We love you. And until next week, have a good one.